him and give him the, the hope of the gospel uh, so that they can be saved. And actually, shame and guilt are a gift from God. I don't know if you believe that. But if you don't have shame or guilt, you continue to murder babies. And, uh, and so one of the biggest things, the problems with the pro-life movement is that they say women are never victims. Well, I've been doing abolition work, going to abortion mills, high schools and colleges, even LGBT gatherings, and I've never met a victim. They always, F them babies, I eat babies oh, yeah, for breakfast. What's your name? You're, you're Nicholas, I want to make a donation in your name. They told me that. Never a victim. And now say, having said that, I do believe that there are victims out there that, that the boyfriend says, you're getting this abortion, you're gonna die. Coercion, you know? Uh, but I've never met one and so we're here to provide the gospel that will save them from hell and not only that they'll change their minds so they'll never want to kill their baby again they'll either if they get pregnant or whatever they'll they'll be uh, you know by their husband Lord willing if they really get saved they're not going to fornicate either they're going to be married and if they decide oh we, we had a baby and, and we're married but we, we don't want the baby we'll adopt it out that's the right thing to do, not not murder. You'd probably agree, right? Yes. So I I, I agree, um, but I work for this organization, mm -hmm. and so I can ask you to respect our organization as a whole and what we're trying to get out. Um, I'm the gospel. I'm speaking to Jesus. Um, but as an organization as a whole, I ask you guys to respect our wishes and we're asking you. And I think that God asks us to respect other people. Um, so we just ask you if you're going to be here, if you're not going to stand outside. Have them in the back and not have them up front where our cameras are. Um, we want to have a nice video for our advertising. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, I do believe in Jesus. I love Jesus. <laughs> um, and I just, I just really want to ask you guys that um, I put this event together. I worked really hard for it. I want it to look the way that we um, want it to look for our public. Um, we work with uh, uh, Baby, uh, uh, like shelters for women, we, we work with them, we align with like, um, with the Salem Hope um, Center where women can come in and get the help that they need to raise their babies and choose them. And that's something we're asking and, and wanting women to um, know about. We have some religious leaders here today that are going to speak the gospel. Um, we have religious music here today, and so we are sharing um, faith, um, but not everyone here is of faith. Uh, so I just kind of want to ask you. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you well, for can, I, can I give you one of these to, I, to read? I do have. Oh, you got one of those? Yes. Well, this, so, this is, uh, that's a great gospel track. I know the, the woman who wrote that. Uh, but this one talks about abolition and the reason why we're abolitionists. Because we want to we want to destroy abortion. Not, not you're, you're at, well, actually, your website, I saw it says we want to regulate abortion. We, we never want to regulate. It'd be like regulating rape or, or regulating robbery, you know, you know what I mean? So, so our website doesn't say that. Um, we don't, so I mean, I guess we do have a website that says we want to destroy abortion. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm just going to bring up that, I took a screenshot of that somewhere here. And uh, hey, Kathy. Yeah, uh, but I took a screenshot where it says we regulate abortion. Okay. So you maybe. I'll look at it. Yeah, let me. So I don't write the website. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, that's. Um, let me see if I can find it here. It might be on one of our chats. I shared that with folks. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks for coming and talking to us. I appreciate it. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, let's see where they go. We need to understand where the baby's coming from. It's being murdered. No, of course, yeah. Like, that's... Nobody... Just said the baby's actually... Yeah. So take a look. Read that carefully. That's from Oregon Right to Life. Yeah, she said she didn't write it, but, you know, she's she's a part of the organization. I would think she would agree with what's written on the website. Yeah, I... I, I agree with you that that's what it says. I would say that in that sentence, that's referring to what the Supreme Court decision did. So it's just saying that the right to regulate abortion has been returned to the states. But so you're, you're in agreement with this, so though. You should regulate it. You should, shouldn't abolish it. We, we, nobody wants to see any unborn life ended through abortion at all. And that's, that's not it, at all what Organized Life is about. 
I think that our differences would just be in what the strategy would be uh, to do that. Um, and so how, how effective, um, how you go about effectively. And I think, you know, people obviously disagree about that within the pro-life movement, and that's okay. Um, but our approach is just kind of to work through the legislative channels a little bit more. So um, that's, yeah, see, that's what know, our focus um, would be. Yeah, Ms. Ashley, do you know what actually, I'm not sure how involved you are in the legislative process. Uh, I'm not personally. But I, I can tell you, I've, I've, I've been in the capital of many states, including Bleak, Kansas, where I just came from. And do you know what, what the majority of pro-life, not all, but, but the, the majority of pro-life organizations, what, what they do with the effort to end abortion to abolish it? You know what they do? They kill it. Not, not only do they kill it, but they won't even let the, the bill get to the hearing. And I uh, actually watched this happen in, in Kansas, uh, what, a couple months ago, where like we were going there about, about every Wednesday, going to the Capitol there in Topeka, Kansas, and we watched as the the, the pro-life House and Senate would not even give the act the bill that would abolish abortion to hearing. Not even like get, get a vote. And that's and that's 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 happening in states like Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Louisiana, Arkansas. I was in Texas right now. I got a very different situation where through the legislative process that it's turned out very differently. So I appreciate where you guys are coming from. I understand. Just know that we are not coming from a perspective at all that says that we are okay with abortion at all. Um, I would say, again, it's very much a strategic difference, not a difference in terms of both of us want to see abortion end in every unborn life protected. Well, does so, Oregon right to life want to see it? And what do you what do you personally believe? Do you believe that... I'm not going to be able to... I, I do have other tasks to do. Yeah, yeah, just so. real quick. Do you believe yeah. women are always victims, sometimes victims, or, or never victims? No, we're not what do you, I know the typical pro-life view is that women are always victims. Like I don't know what you personally believe. I think believe. people would say that, but I would say that the first place in the world is going to be the together. Yeah, because I've been doing this about 11 years, 10 or 11 years, and I've never met a woman victim. It's always half them babies, I eat babies for breakfast, et cetera. But I, I would say that I know people that know women who have had, you know, the boyfriend says, you're going to die, I'm going to kill you if you don't abort this baby. I get, yeah, that's a victim in a sense, you know, like, but, but you know that most animals will die defending their offspring, but we have women that will, that will readily kill their babies, that will readily murder their babies. I, I brought some signs and I want to, my, my point here is to educate people not only on uh, what the pro-life movement uh, uh, supports, but also give them the gospel, because most, most pro-life people are, are not Christians, you even said it yourself, that there are unsaved people, but my experience has been most pro-life people are either Catholic, which is unsaved, or, or other types of Christians, you know, so, so that's, that's been my experience. Alright, thanks, appreciate it. All right, so